Hello that's Nuts, I'm going to do a review of the Unicorn Wes Newton Maestro Premier darts. These are 90% tungsten darts, this is the 22 gram model and I think there's a 24 gram and I think there's a 26 gram as well. Um, as you can see it comes in the Unicorn cardboard box and inside you've got your luxury MIDI wallet which is always quite a nice case to have for your darts and inside that you've got your Wes Newton signature flights um, a standard shape and you've got your guarantee weight certificate it says 22.2 grams and of course you've got the barrels which are fitted with medium alloy stems. So let's have a close look right, at the dark look. Close look. And I'll put a detailed look with all the measurements on in detail. As you can see it's fitted with a silver point and there's a short taper to the nose of the barrel and on that section it's smooth and it has the unicorn name etched on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the rest of the barrel is made up of this thinly cut ring grip which continues right to the end of the shaft so that should please people who like to grip it right near the end of the barrel. Uh, the grip level it's quite quite grippy actually it's probably a high medium level of grip. It's a nice straight barrel that classic design uh, shouldn't have uh, too much problems with this kind of a dart and it probably suits a variety of grips whether you have front, middle or rear grip and as you can see it's fitted with the alloy stems and the Wes Newton signature standard flights and the stems are pre-fitted with a rubber o-ring so Keep them nice and tight, so I'll just let you have a look at the dart for a bit and then I'll put the detail close up with all the measurements on. Right then, here's the detail close up. Here's the detailed look at the Wes Newton Natural Tungsten 22 gram darts. It's got a 28mm point and there's a small taper to the front of the barrel and smooth section of 5.75 millimeter and then the rest of the barrel is made up of this thinly cut uh, slightly rounded rings of 45.15 millimeter the width of the barrel is 6.47 millimeters and the length is 50.9 millimeters take some measurements of the barrel. Barrel width is 50.84 millimeters and it should be even width all the way through so I'll just do a check that says 6.45 let's see if I can get that exactly right 6.46 is probably about 6.4 all the way along the barrel. Just slight differences in the last digit, but it depends on how you get on the edges of the rings. So it's a 6.4 mil wide barrel. Let's compare the weight of the barrels then. That one is 22.34 grams. That one is 22.3 and that one is 22.3 and 22.29 and the weight of the supplied setup is 24.99 grams. Alright I'll see if I can find the balance point now. It 
probably going to be quite even weighted I should imagine it's probably just about there so it's just slightly front of centre and with the supplied setup it's probably going to move closer to the middle yeah so with the supplied setup it's pretty much in the middle of the barrel alright then that's the close look at the darts it's a very nice straight barrel dart with a very nice ring grip so let's give them a throw and see how they go Trying to get around that one there. It's blocking the bed, but I didn't manage it. I'm just on the dart near the front of the barrel, and uh, it seems quite a flat flying dart. The barrel itself is quite a slim barrel. Um, the grip on it, it's quite a nice uniform grip. That it's just about the right kind of level for me, not too aggressive but just enough bite there so you can feel it in your fingers and um, it does feel quite long with these alloy shafts on it but it is flying quite stable, I think the length of the shaft is making it pretty stable like The dart seemed to lie quite flat in the board. Um, the barrel, although it's a 50mm barrel, it kind of feels longer than it is. It might be because it's quite a th slim dart, but for me, I've moved my grip a little bit closer to the nose and actually feels uh, better to throw for me from that point. Um, I'll just have a go from the middle just to see what it's like from there. It'll probably go miles off course like, but we'll give it a go. The only problem with me holding it in the middle was I was getting a little bit of fishtail and just mainly because it's not my natural grip, I'll give it one more go. a 
a bit better in flight but not very accurate. Mm. Flew better in the air that time. Um, I'll just have a go from the very rear and this is probably going to be quite awkward. I should imagine it will go like that when I throw it. Surprised it flew all right from there. Just that last one fishtailed a little bit, but these two kept the uh, steady flight paths. So uh, should be that that should suit most grips. I'll just go back to my front grip. That's the uh, Unicorn Wes Newton 22 gram darts. I think it's a dart that will probably suit a variety of different grips. Uh, it seems to be quite a flat flying dart, so if you've got a flap to throw it, it might suit that. Um, I noticed when I tried to throw it more loopy, I was getting more movement, but when I just threw it nice and flat. It was very stable through the air. So overall it's a pretty nice dart. The only thing I have noticed is it doesn't have uh, Wes Newton's signature on the barrel which is probably because the grip is right away along the barrel and there's probably not enough room there for his signature which is a bit of a shame. But there you go, it's a pretty nice dart. That's the end of the review, thanks for watching.